So let's get back to our conversation with Mark Mobius. So cheaper oil uh, might benefit India. So a lot of talk about maybe Raghuram Rajan might cut uh, rates. Is that going to help or hurt? Country, they, uh, India like has India, a yeah. real problem with inflation. And inflation has not come down significantly, mm. which would therefore uh, not allow the central bank to cut rates too quickly. Uh, if they are able to liberalize and make the food distribution system more efficient, then you will see inflation coming down in India. Mm. But that's the big question mark. It needs reform. You've got to allow the Walmarts of this world, the other major distributors of food to come into India and help reorganize the distribution system yeah. to make food prices low. Because food is a big, big com component. Yeah, last year, onion prices, that made a lot of people cry, <laughs> yeah, remember? Exactly. And then people were saying, well, why can't you replace it with leek or something else? <laughs> yeah. So uh, going back to Indonesia, um, so oil being low, that benefits countries like India. Definitely. But Indonesia, it's a slightly different story. There's been so much euphoria about Jokowi and the markets rallied. But I, I kind of feel like there's a dark side to the story because Indonesia, I mean, it's a commodity-centric country, and at some point, this price collapse, it might haunt them in a big way. Oh, definitely. There's no question about that. And the other problem they have is their desire to bring local production into the country. In other words, instead of just exporting the raw material, they want to be able to deal with it and manufacture with those raw materials in the country. Mm. Um, that could slow things down as well, because there's some reluctance on the part of many of the miners to bring in additional purifying equipment and so forth because it's not really efficient. Yeah, so while the move to go downstream is actually positive in the long term, the short long term, term it could be a headwind. So how are you investing in Indonesia? What we're doing is looking at the consumer market because the per capita income is definitely moving up. One of the best ways to get exposure to the consumer market is by buying consumer banks because oh. the banks are expanding. Do you have into names? consumer finance. Well, I mean, Bank Donamon would be one, and there are a number of others. And if you look at our portfolio, you'll see a number of these banks mm. in our portfolios. In Indonesia, Astra, of course, is the big name, and you'll find that in many of the portfolios. Probably not, a, not going to be a big surprise that there might be some sovereign default. Well, you have Greece, that's a continuing problem. You have Argentina, continuing problem. You have Venezuela, continuing problem. The fact that these problems now exist put all of the investors, bond investors, on notice mm. that they have to be cautious. So I don't think you're going to see a major, major default uh, in um, these countries in Asia in particular because they've learned their lessons during the Asian crisis. But you must remember that uh, when we're investing, we're looking at individual situations. So the overall environment may not look good, but then you have individual opportunities along the way, and some of the best money can be made when you take the highest risk. Mm, and I'm sure you have <laughs> plenty of experiences. Mark, thank you very much. Very thank grateful you. that you joined us on our debut show.